Welcome back, Drill Freak Nation. And thanks for joining us here on our video golf blog, all things relevant to golf. Today we're going to have on as a special guest, and he's going to show us something that happened uh, many years ago at our golf academy. Uh, Tommy Duancic, who was a very good player. He was player of the year, uh, a longtime student uh, of mine at the golf academy, and I still work with him uh, on his golf swing. And then he moved up and he played, uh, he went up to, to the New England area and also played Division I uh, college golf for, again, Holy Cross. So he's, he kind of likes that name, Holy Cross. But anyway, Tommy was a great student. But we're going to talk today about speed, creating golf club head speed. I'm going to just give you a quick story. Tommy comes in for a lesson. He's probably a junior in, in high school. And he's working on his driver, and we're, we're hitting the driver, and he's only hitting it about 280. Remember I said only hitting about 280. And he's getting a little frustrated. He's, he's, he's around that 270 to 280. He can't get past the 280 threshold. He was getting a little bit, you know, antsy about it. And okay, thanks, Scotty. And here you go, Drill Freak Nation. Today we're going to work on our whoosh drill with the driver, where we're going to do 10 reps. And we're going to work up from slow to fast, where we really try and emphasize making that whoosh through the impact zone. We want to hear it out here. So I'm going to demonstrate here. We're going to start slow and work up. Do this simple drill and you can add 10 miles an hour to your swing speed and even additional 20 to 30 yards. Okay, L to L. There you go, you do this simple drill, you can add 10 miles an hour to your swing speed and additional 20 and even 30 yards. So what happened was, and I did not know this, but he went home and two weeks later he comes back for his every other week uh, a lesson with me. He walks in. We're getting ready to go, the launch monitor set up. I said, you want to warm up? You want to loosen up? He says, nope. He grabs his driver. He said, I want to hit the driver. No warm-ups. Everything against the grain of, of what I proposed, you know, making sure we get loose and, and, and yada, yada. He gets up there with the driver. Very first swing, 301. His club at speed jumps 11 miles from previous two weeks. He goes from maxing out at 280 he starts off at 301, and he kept up that number. He had a 303, 302, 301, but he averaged around 300 yards. And you would wonder when you watch him hit where this uh, club at speed was coming from. But I'll tell you where it was coming from. He spent two weeks of doing these speed drills that I'm about to show you right now, or explain to you right now. And in those two weeks, he was able to raise his club head speed by 11 miles an hour. That equates to around 30 yards, okay? Somewhere in that area, there, depending upon your ball speed as well, okay? And smash factor. Some of those things have uh, relevance to, to all of that. Would be light, heavy with the driver, heavy again with the driver, and then light again. So one of those things that once we see this tip, and we're gonna get this out there uh, really, really uh, quick to you guys, is that the only way to increase club head speed is, is by exercise, working on some of these exercise golf tips that I'm sending out to you guys on a daily basis, the golf drill tips, the, the slow, what I would call pygo type drills that we're, that we're working on, those are, how, those are the ways that we're gonna be able to increase club head speed. And if we wanna do that, we have to do the drills, we have to do the work, so you can't get you know, you just can't get up there and just start uh, trying to uh, hit it further by swinging hard right out of the, out of the get-go because we need good mechanics, we need a good skill, a skill set, and we need to do these speed drills, these speed drills that I just talked about as well. Drill Freak Nation, I hope you guys enjoy that video golf blog. We have a lot more coming up. Send us some emails, give us some ideas of what you'd like to hear, what you'd like to see, and we'll get them out to you as best as we can. Drill Freak Nation. We hope you guys are staying safe, and we'll catch you back again real soon.